academic writing is about a bar chart which shows distribution of different income groups in cities and regional centers of Australia. As you can see on the screen, we have a bar chart in front of us and on the y-axis we have the percentage of population and on the x-axis uh, we have the cities and regional centers. So this is uh, the information about the cities and here we have the information about the regional centers. So low income, uh, the color is black of that bar and then if uh, we want to know about the data related to lower middle class and then it is lower middle income group it is gray and yellow for middle income earners and then we have the high income earner in uh, the color is orange the, bar, the color of the bar is orange so we can see over here like um, the main features the striking features of this map that the highest uh, percentage of population in cities is 35 percent uh, the group uh, is middle um, income earners and then if we look at the regional centers then this is the gray bar over here which is uh, about 34 percent and it comprises of the lower middle class the earners who were earning forty thousand dollars to seventy thousand dollars we can see over here so this is the striking part um, striking feature of this uh, bar chart and then if we look at the other features then the high income in orange the orange bar which you can see it's 20 percent in cities and 15 percent in regional centers and the low income groups uh, they are like around 13 uh, percent in cities the black bar and it is uh, around 22 in regional centers so basically in both these uh, areas in cities of Australia and regional centers of Australia the means the big groups are the age uh, sorry the percentage of population which is earning uh, it comprises of the lower middle and middle class let's see the introductory part of this paragraph means the reframing of the question so we have written over here the bar chart illustrates the percentage of the population in cities and regional areas of Australia according to their annual income right and the striking feature of this map is overall it can be seen that people living in cities earn a higher average income than regional centers we have seen this yellow bar over here so we have written that striking feature of this map in overall now let's see the BP paragraph uh, 1, body paragraph 1. In both cities and regional centers, the majority of the population are lower middle or middle income earners, which means they have a yearly income of $40,000 to $70,000 and $70,000 to $120,000 respectively. However, in cities, the largest of these two groups is the middle income earners at 35 percent while in regional centers the largest group is lower middle at around 34 percent and in bp2 we have mentioned the other um, income groups another similarity between cities and regional areas is that highest and lowest income earners just a second Another similarity between cities and regional areas is that highest and lowest income earners make up the two smallest population groups. Their yearly income is under $40,000 and over $1,20,000. However, in cities, the low income group makes up only about 13% of the population, which is about 10% less than regional areas. The high income group also differs between the two areas and is 5% greater in cities. So this is about uh, like these orange and black bars which you have seen on the graph. So all the major features mentioned in the graph we have described them in our answer.